Compression of the spinal cord and hand function. Cervical myelopathy is a form of neurologic impairment due to compression of the spinal cord in the cervical canal. MRI is usually the study of choice to diagnose cervical myelopathy. The natural history of cervical myelopathy is a slow stepwise deterioration over time with variable periods of stable neurologic function. Changes in hand dexterity and coordination are among the earliest signs and these may be present in otherwise asymptomatic individuals. The progressive cervical cord compression can result in intrinsic atrophy, weakness in grip and pinch, small finger escape, impaired ability to perform rapid alternating movement. Thorough history and physical exam is important given the often asymptomatic but progressive nature of cervical myelopathy. The lower cervical nerve roots, C8, T1, are the most severely affected. The clinical presentation of myelopathy is highly variable. The typical patient with cervical myelopathy will complain of symmetric numbness and tingling in the extremities. The diffused numbness in the hands is often misdiagnosed as carpal tunnel syndrome. It requires a high index of suspicion, given the progressive deterioration in patients with cervical myelopathy. About 20% of patients in the myelopathy group have no myelopathic signs on physical exam. A myelopathic hand describes a patient with myelopathy of the cervical spine and its associated findings in the hand. Patient will have hand clumsiness and gait disturbance. Decreased manual dexterity, the patient will have difficulty in manipulating objects, buttoning and unbuttoning a shirt, and the patient may be dropping objects because he can't hold it. The patient is usually an older patient that may complain of occipital headache. So what is the myelopathic hand? The patient will have difficulty with grip and release. Patient will have loss of motor strength, will have sensory changes and intrinsic wasting and have a finger escape sign and the spasticity. Patient will have difficulty with hand dexterity, will have hyperreflexia, positive Huffman sign, positive Romberg sign, and gait disturbance. The patient will feel unstable on their feet. What in the finger escape sign? Ask the patient to hold the fingers extended and abducted. The small finger will spontaneously abduct due to weakness of the intrinsic muscle. The under two digits drift into abduction and flexion within 30 seconds is also described. As regards the grip and release test, a normal patient will make a fist and release 20 times in 10 seconds. A myelopathic patient will not be able to do that. In positive grip and release test, the patient has trouble making a fist and fully extending the fingers. There will be a loss of coordination and dexterity of the hands during rapid movement. Positive Hoffman sign, snapping the patient distal pharynx of the middle finger leads to spontaneous flexion of the other fingers, the most common physical exam finding. Patient may have positive Bepinesky test, is positive with extension of the great toe.
Patient may have sustained clonus more than three weeks. The Hoffman sign only reliable in about 60%, Papineski in about 13%, and clonus in about 13%. The condition is usually progressive, it gets worse with time, and it rarely improves without surgery. Surgical treatment will entail decompression and destabilization of the cervical spine. Early diagnosis and treatment of this condition is important to achieve a reasonable good outcome. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.